All right, take two of the Constellation Sagitta and Nebula to be following shortly. We are looking through a uh, Gen 3 Thin Film Image Dense Fire 25mm variant uh, with a glass fiber input. It's plugged into the back of a StarTron LR300 lens, f1.4, catadioptric lens. Camera's a Sony E7S, and right now it's set to uh, 1 60th of a second shutter, high so 640. And you're staring at the back side of uh, Sagitta, the little constellation, the arrow. So those two stars to the right are kind of the feathers of the arrow, and then the star that's to the left is the center of the arrow. We'll slowly pull it around so that's the center. And as I move towards the front of the arrow, which is kind of running from right to left, or that point is on the left, you see a little ah, bit of a star cluster there, right? Don't know what that's called. Might be an NGC, not sure. Should go look that up sometime, but then there's the front of the arrow. Got some serious halo coming off my tube, but that's a pretty bright star. And now if we pan up, we're going to get ourselves a cute little planetary nebula coming into view right there. It's like a bow tie or a more or less eaten apple core. Running from left to right, kind of small center of the screen. That is the uh, Dumbbell Nebula, also known as M27 in the constellation of Volpecula, right in the Milky Way. Pretty good. That's 640 ISO on the camera. If I dial up my sensitivity slightly, that's a little higher. That's 800. What looks better? 800, 640. 800, 640. Oh, it's hard to say, isn't it? 640 is a little less grainy, maybe. So that's the dump hill in real time. Oh. The bow tie shape thing, um, small because I'm only at 11 power, but a uh, pretty good sized lens here with some serious light gathering capabilities. And a real time view. No filters involved at all. I may be attempting in a little while H alpha. For now, I'm going filterless. Hmm. Okay, so M27 and I'm in Volpecula, the Dumbbell Nebula. And where's my remote? There it is. Okay, that's it. End of take two.